You ever heard of DXO, Mark, Will? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're the guys that are doing the, the camera testing. Yep. They give you that score. They uh, always in the press. At, at, at so many different smartphone events. Look at our DXO, Mark. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's always some, some new phone breaking the records. And it was funny when it first crossed over the 100-point threshold. People thought it was going to end. They thought 100 was perfect. Like, every phone's going to be perfect. No, the score just kept going. Uh, they're getting into audio now, not just cameras. So, oh, okay. yeah, so for, for the longest time, they were just rating cameras, selfies, and pr providing this technical score for how they uh, perceived performance through their various tools. And they, they spit out a number for camera performance for various phones, and they were stacked up against each other. People found this to be... A resource. Mm -hmm. Now they're getting into the audio game. As you know, on Unbox Therapy, we're, we're, we're constantly testing audio performance of phones and laptops. And it's recently, we kind of decided it's tough to even say what sounds good because it's so subjective. What a person might perceive as sounding good. And also, a, a person has kind of an inability to hear what you're hearing because they're getting the sound through this from the speaker through your microphone it's, it's compressed it's it, all the that other youtube stuff. Yeah. and now i'm not saying i'm going to stop doing it it might be worth something to someone to hear that performance especially in relationship to other stuff you've heard on the channel but it's just a diff difficult thing to put a number on to put a score on and to say for sure one is better than the other when a lot of it comes down to what you're looking for it, might it be more clarity uh, for dialogue, might it be more bass performance and so forth? Well, they came up with a, a regimen similar to what to the way they're looking at cameras in order to evaluate audio performance across a number of categories, including timber, dynamics, spatial, volume, artifacts, and recording. So they did not not they they didn't just take into account audio performance when you're watching a video, for example, but also what about the microphones when you're recording a video and then the playback from that? How about background noise? How about artifacts like clipping when you're listening back? What about overall volume? Uh, what about dynamics, attack, bass precision, punch, volume, dependency? Will, do you see this? They yes. went deep on it. Mm -hmm. They went deep. I think a lot of people might appreciate they had to come up with a system that leveraged uh, both obvious measurements. You can measure volume, for example. You can get sound meters and so forth. But it also utilized a, a certain degree of human analysis, too. There's some uh, various engineers and things like this involved in the process to a certain degree. There's no way around it. Uh, so anyhow... They started out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They started out with seven smartphones for their initial run of DxO Mark Audio. And the top of the list is occupied by the Huawei Mate 20X. And apparently, it was able to achieve that high score one point better than the iPhone XS Max because of its stereo microphones for recording. Because what DxO Mark does is they take, they compile all of this data in these various categories to come up with this eventual number, which is the overall figure. And apparently the Mate series had a huge advantage in that department, pushing it above the iPhone XS Max. Now, the other interesting thing you're going to see on this performance chart is the fact that the iPhone XS Max actually beats the iPhone 11 Pro Max by three points. So the previous version flagship big iPhone surprisingly outperforms the new one from an audio perspective. Maybe because they had to make some extra space for that new camera situation and it had some sort of impact on audio. Now, it's important to note it's number two and number three out of the ones that they right. tested. So it's still pretty good. But that's one of the advantages, one of the unspoken advantages of the bigger phones is that they typically have substantially better audio performance for watching videos and, and so on because you can get bigger units in there right. and, and so forth. 
Uh, the rest of the list beyond the 11 Pro Max, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus scores a 66. Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus 65, Honor 20 Pro 53, and Sony Xperia 145. So that's just the immediate list for now. Mm -hmm. But of course, as they've done in, in the camera department, they're going to be expanding this list that may have your smartphone in it very soon. And I could see it being a resource that people like myself use to kind of glance at and say, okay, what are we working with? Most of this I kind of already knew. We, we got the sound meter out at one point in time to figure this out. And it's fairly obvious to your ears, but it depends. You need to know what you're listening for. And so to have an analysis like this in the type of environment they were able to create, I mean, you can go and look online. They got all the various sound material. They created a chamber. They've got high-end audio equipment and so forth in order to run this analysis. It's cool that they're going to be creating this... Uh, what would you call it? Well, they're creating a a repository, no, a directory. Yeah. Directory of smartphone audio performance to go with their directory of smartphone camera performance. So go check it out if you like and keep an eye out for your device in the future.